Hello and welcome to the Institut Curie. Our campus is located here, right in the center of Paris. I am Christophe Lamas from the Cell Biology Department. My name is Pierre Nassoua from the Physics Department. We'd like to take you on a brief tour of our work at the interface between biology and physics, and which is published in this issue of Cell. I am Vidisha Sinha, a postdoc in Christophe and Pierre's lab. With Darius Coaster, who has recently graduated and is also the co-first author of this paper, we show that cells respond to mechanical stress by rapid disassembly of cavity. Caveole have a specialized membrane invagination that were discovered more than 50 years ago by Nobel Prize winner George Palladi. Caveole are made of two proteins, caveolin and cavin. The role of caveole has been debated for years. As you can see here, by deep edge electron macrography, caveole are very abundant in endothelial cells, muscle cells, and adipocytes. These cells experience acute mechanical stress during their lifetime. This led us to hypothesize a mechanical role for caveole. To test this hypothesis, we had to challenge the homeostatic membrane tension of cells by applying external mechanical stresses to the membrane. The first mechanical stress, hypoosmotic shock, swells up cells and strains the membrane. We image fluorescent cavilins and cavilli appear as punctated spots. Within the first few minutes of hypoosmotic shock, there is a decrease in the number of cavilli depending on the shock strength. As a second mechanical stress, we stretched cells on micro patterns using a homemade device. We again found a similar loss of cavilli. Next, with the help of several international collaborators, we asked by which mechanism caveolae disappear. By using deep edge EM, we can see that the intimate caveolar structure disappears by flattening out into the plasma membrane upon osmotic shock. Immunogold EM images then indicate that the caveolin protein remains present at the membrane after flattening. By contrast, the cavin protein required for maintaining the body shape of caveolae is released into the cytosol upon stress, as shown by flim fret experiments. Can this disassembly of caveolae by stress participate to membrane tension regulation? Our student, Darius Kuster, used the tube pulling technique. A small latex bead is trapped with optical tweezers and broke into contact with a cell. On retraction, a membrane tube is formed. This technique allows to monitor membrane tension variations during hypoosmotic shock. Because the tube force measured by optical tweezers is directly related to membrane tension. In the case of caveolin knockout cells, the tube force initially at ground level increases by threefold in the next few minutes following osmotic shock. This increase is somehow similar to the increase of tension of a swollen balloon. By contrast, for wild type cells, the force remains constant during osmotic shock, indicating that the membrane tension is buffered. All this can be understood by rubber bands. Here is a normal rubber band or a cavalin knockout cell. I stretch this and it's taut, tensed. Now I take one with cavalier like undulations or a wild type cell. I stretch this rough one and it's not taut. Looks like good cavalier can help cells resist stress. When the going gets rough, the rough gets going. Coming back to the physiological relevance of this process, it's interesting that several human muscular dystrophies have been associated with mutation in muscle cavalin free. For example, the mutation P28L, which is responsible for HFCK, a familial form of muscular dystrophy, leads to the sequestration of caveolin in the Golgi apparatus. As you can see in this video, these myotubes exhibit a higher membrane fragility under osmotic shock. Here at the Institut Curie, we are engaged in cancer research. We believe that many aspects of cavity functions may be related to this mechanical facet. We hope that our new findings will help us to show a possible link between the known deregulation of cavalin expression and the existence of mechanical constraints in tumors. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir.